Uh, hello, and welcome back to Let's Play The Blackwell Legacy. Last episode, we committed an act of animal cruelty as a solution to a puzzle. In this episode, we're talking to a ghost and trying to figure out how to stop him from annoying these teenage not teenagers, they're college students, annoying these college students to suicide. Dark game, what can I say? So we can let him rant, we can have a subtle interjection, or we can get hey, forceful about it. Them, Susan. Listen to me. Help me. Please. I'm talking to you, clown shoes. <laughs> you're he has you're talking shoes. to me? Yeah, so can you calm down long enough to tell me what's going on? I, I can't. You're like me. What do you mean? Dead. Like me. Wait a minute. Just a goddamn minute. You know he is aware yes. he's dead. Well, that certainly saves time. We can help you. Here, grab a hold of this. No, no, no. get that away from me. What the hell is wrong with you? You need saving. We're here to save you. What's the problem? I can't. What are you so scared of? You're stuck, right? We can help you move on. No, I don't want to. You don't want to? No. I'm afraid. Oh, you're afraid, are you? You believe this guy? All right, Mac, spill. You've scared these girls literally to death, and I want to know why. What are you so afraid of? I... I don't want to burn. Burn? Oh, oh, I get it. You think you're going to hell. Oh. The devil himself. He told me. Please don't make me go. You're scared of the devil, huh? Yes! Yeah, well, I don't see any devil. There's just you and me. And you know what? <laughs> I'm worse than any devil you'll ever see. Hey! I've been doing this for 40 years, bucko. Every ghost I meet goes to their final rest one way or the other. You're scared? I don't give a rat's ass. Two people are dead because of you. So take the damn tie and let's get this over with. No! Oh. You can't make me. A lot of cursing in the first burn, four minutes. Please. <sighs> Hurts, don't it? Oh. Ghosts aren't supposed to feel pain, but I've learned some tricks. Now take the damn tie. Joey, stop it. Give her, give her a chance to handle it your way. I mean, you know, logically. He really should give her a chance because she's the spirit medium in this Kids regard. Stay out but, of this. Um, this is between me and the spook. So, are we gonna do this the easy way or the hard way? Please. No. What are you gonna do to me? Please don't make it get me. I don't wanna go to hell. <laughs> hell schmell. You wanna stop talking crap? Hey, stop. <laughs> Let me talk to him, okay? Uh, I can't remember what all the achievements were, but I think there was one for having Joey punch him multiple times. Uh, you want to handle this? Yeah. Go right let's, ahead. Uh, let's see you do any better. Go right. I know a uh, safe place. Talk about you can hide there. Talk yeah. about hope. Where is it? Not far, but you'll have to trust us. Trust you? Why should I trust you? Because nobody because else nobody will else help. has offered to help you before, right? Yeah. You ask and ask for help, but nobody answers, right? No. Nobody answers. Well, we have. We're going to help you. Has anybody else said the same? No. No, they haven't. I th 
think. Oh, I'm so tired of running. If you say you can help me, I believe you. What needs to be done? Just listen to my friend. Well, this is going to be a relatively Here, short take video. The time. You know what to do. I can't believe she pulled that off. Ow. Every time. You were right. I feel safe. Are you ready? Yes. I really think so. It's really nice out here. Almost like... Like... I have found you. No! Oh no. You lied to me! What? It's here! You lied! What's that? Oh crap! Joey? Joey! Get me out of here! Stay away! Stay away! There is nowhere to go. You cannot return to the mortal world. You can only go through me. Accept the punishments for your sins and come with me. Help me, please. You brought me here. You have to save me. You have to. Fool, no one can save I hate it, but he's got a point. I'll give you a moment to prepare for the eternity to come, but then you are mine. What is that Confused thing? It's come thoughts. to take me to hell! Just like it always said it would. Right. Okay. We're going to save here. And... Please, help! Right. What are your sins? What have you done? I don't know. Please, God, I didn't mean to kill those people. It's just I've been so scared yeah. and I don't know why. Please. What is that in your pocket? Okay, ask That's about the flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. Okay. Cobblestone. Uh, excuse Confer me. I shut up. How did you get here? What, what is here? It is but an abstract concept. To one such as I, I move at the power of right. Once my business is concluded, I shall trouble you no more. Why are you after this man? For his sins. All this time, he has not renounced them. Even after these many years of death, he still carries them with him. Can't you just let him go? He has killed many with his madness. His sins weigh him down even as we speak. Ask yourself. Yes? You may think so, but your heart does not believe it. You have witnessed the results of his actions with your own eyes. Right, we need, we need to get him to drop the flask. So what can I do? What does he want? He wants me. I don't know why. What is that? Uh, it haunted my and now. Okay. Please. Uh, Can I spot? This is a problem. I, uh... 
I don't know what to... The deacon oh, is wait. carrying his sins, and the deacon is carrying his flask. Could this be some more? There we go. Okay. Get rid of that flask. Had to combine flask. Get rid of it. things. Oh, flask. Right. Why? Just do it. I can put it I can't. Else. Why not? <laughs> because yeah. it's my flask. You want to be free of that demon? You've been Trust forever. Me. Oh, okay. You no longer carry your sins with you, dead one. But they still taint this place. That is not enough to see. Not for long. Stone. It is done. The sins have been abolished from this place. And my claim on you, dead one, is gone. Move on in peace and be troubled no more. Okay. He's gone. Took a little bit I longer so. than it should have, but gone. I'm, so I'm free of him. I'm really free. All this time, it's all so clear to me now. Like my head was full of cobwebs, and now they're gone. I. All those people who died. They killed themselves. He's gonna find a new home. And what do you think about that? I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing, but that doesn't excuse it. I spent most of my life as a drunk, and most of my death as a murderer. I was worried about going to hell before. Maybe I'm okay with that now, now that I know I might deserve it. You seem strangely happy about it. I'm just happy to know. You see, I was a religious man once, before disease took my wife away, and I took to the bottle. If I'm going to hell, well then maybe I can still spread the word of God there. Do some good for once. Well, this is it. Goodbye, and thanks. And so he passes on. We have resolved the puzzle and... Jesus Christ, kid, you alright? Saved the day. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What took you so long? It got... A little complicated. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. Let's get out of here. I need some air. I know the perfect place. He's at peace now, I guess. Wherever he is. I saved him, I think. Gave him some hope, at least. He's getting no more than he deserves. No more than any of us deserve. I guess. I really wished I could have popped him one more time. He really hacked me off. Is that your answer to everything? Don't you start judging me. You managed to pull it off. I'm impressed. Just... Glad you're okay. Joey? Yeah? Why did Auntie stop? Stop what? Stop doing this. This ghost saving or whatever it is we do. Oh. Uh, it was you. Me? She wanted to take care of you. Wanted to do it right, she said. Stop listening to me. Stop saving the ghosts. Just put all her effort into taking care of you. And then she fell into that weird coma. Yeah. I see. I guess there's a lesson in that. Is there? Yeah. And that's the game. We've just finished. We're seeing the credits now and all the uh, all the people who did the work for this relatively small indie game.
everything about this game is great. From the voice acting, to the music, to the writing. And this game is kind of what got me into the series as a whole. And I'm kind of surprised we finished in only five episodes. Oh, right, he was the demon as well. <laughs> ah. Special activation code, Bright Eyes. There's hundreds of confused spirits out there, sweetheart, and there's nobody else who can help them. There's just us. Bestowing eternity on every sob story out there, one lost soul at a time. Whether we want to or not. Right, that's the other term for medium in this franchise and I guess that's the end of the game <laughs>